Hello, I'm Nick Poulin, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at an absolutely beautiful Prohibition era Colt Navy model 1928 Thompson submachine gun. This example was manufactured between March of 1921 and July of 1922. Between these dates, 15,000 Thompson Sud machine guns were manufactured by the Colt Firearms Corporation of Hartford, Connecticut. Each gun manufactured was given the designation and marked as the Model 1921. While manufacturing was quick, by comparison, the sale of these guns took place over the span of almost 20 years. During this time, there were alterations and upgrades that affected the configuration and the final markings at the time of the actual sale. While the original Model 1921 guns boasted a cyclic rate of 800 rounds per minute, beginning in January of 1927, Colt altered several examples to fire at a lower rate of fire on advice from the United States Marine Corps following their original deployment in the Nicaraguan jungles. These slowed down examples as they were requested were made from the Model 1921 guns that were given a heavy actuator, a different recoil spring, and buffer were to become known as the US Model 1928 Navy. They are also often referred to as the 1928 Overstamp due to the method Colt used to remark these guns. The words US Navy were added above the original model designation and the number 8 was hand stamped over the last one in 1921 to become the 1928. The stamped 8 can often be mistaken for the letter B depending on how the new stamp was placed over the original one. This particular gun is listed in Gordon Herstag's book, The Colt Thompson Submachine Gun Serial Numbers and Histories as being delivered to the Chester County Sheriff's Office in Chester, South Carolina on page 969. It is also accompanied by a letter from the Deputy Sheriff Charles Parker of the Chester County Sheriff's Department stating that the Thompson Submachine Gun Serial Number 11568 was given to the Chester County Sheriff's Department by the federal government shortly after the Korean conflict. The the federal government cracked down on the illicit whiskey trade in the South about at this time, and the weapon saw extensive use by the deputies during raids on moonshine stills in Chester County. This Thompson was again pressed into service during the civil unrest instigated by the civil rights movement in the mid-1960s, after which it was retired from service. This example has a 12 inch barrel with the correct cuts compensator with diamond trademark integral with the front sight. The barrel has 29 fins above the vertical foregrip and it has a Lyman adjustable rear sight with a notch for close quarters and an elevation adjustable to 700 meters when lifted up. It has left side controls and the receiver is properly marked US Navy model of 1928 with the 8 over stamped over the 1. It has a matching numbered trigger frame, a push button detachable hardwood shoulder stock with metal butt plate and track door perfectly matches finish color and condition of the pistol grip and vertical grip. The trap door in the shoulder stock still retains the fiber cushion inside, and the shoulder stock is marked with a small anchor at the front close to the metal in the quick detach assembly as used by the stock maker Remington Arms. The gun has correct 1928 internals consisting of the weighted actuator with knurled caulking handles, bronze blish lock, bolt, and one piece op rod spring with a red fiber buffer. The blish lock is unmarked aside for the UP mark with arrow. The bolt has a small J on the inside with an X below the blish lock. The gun is accompanied by its black folding police case with the blue velvet interior, cleaning rod and spare extractor as well as a letter from the Chester County Sheriff's Office signed by Deputy Charles Parker detailing the history of the gun. The condition of this example is quite remarkable with consistent original finish coverage considering the extensive field use seen through the gun's history. It retains a bright bore with strong riflings and crisp mechanics. If you like this video and want to learn more about interesting historical firearms, then visit our website at PoolinAuctions.com. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay safe, and send it downrange.